YouTube, it's Amber, and welcome to the highly anticipated What Does My Daily Face Tag, or What Does My Daily Face Cost Tag. Um, I have been very, very motivated after seeing this tag kind of spread around YouTube again. Um, I remember seeing it years ago when I first started watching YouTube, because I've been watching for about five years now. And so, um, <sighs> yeah, holy cow. Um, I've been project painting for a long time and I kind of gotten a point where I was like, you know what, I've been project painting for quite a while, I've done really well, I can kind of do what I want now. And then I saw some videos again where girls were like, this is what it takes for me to replace my makeup. Like if I lost my makeup overnight, this is what it would cost me to purchase everything. And I talked about in my sanitizing my makeup video that I uploaded last night. I'll go on and link below in the description box. Um, I've had to throw out two big makeup collections. Um, I lived in two separate locations in two different states. Both the houses had mildew. And, you know, when I had to throw out my makeup collection, I mean, that hurt. That really hurt. It was a lot of money. Um, you know, it's just huge investment at Sephora because I've been shopping at Sephora pretty much for about 10 years now. I mean, it's, it's a lot of money. A lot of money. So, when I saw this tag go around again, I thought, you know what? That's the swift kick in the butt that I need right now to just keep on trucking in Project Pan. Um, I'm actually where it shocked me at first. Don't get me wrong. The number shocked me at first. But the longer I thought about it, the more I was like, you know what? Why am I surprised? Makeup is my hobby. Makeup is my passion. I love trying new products. I love experimenting with different looks. And, you know, once again, I, I say this all the time with my Project Pan, I'm all about enjoying this investment. Don't feel bad about your makeup collection. You don't have to justify it to anybody. If makeup is what you love, by all means. We all have a vice. We just tend to choose to put ours into cosmetic products. So, um, like I said, don't feel bad about it. I don't feel bad about it. Um, to replace everything overnight, like if I lost my house, you know, to a natural disaster or something, that would suck <laughs> to replace everything. But like I said, I'm not surprised. I've had to throw out two collections now. This number does not shock me. Um, I use a range of drugstore and high-end. I like things from both price ranges. So I will go on and link my products that I mentioned in the description box below. I'm including all of my Project Pan makeup with the exception of the lip products. Um, as far as that goes, I will link my 2014 Seasonal Vanity Tour in the description box below because right now I am rotating everything I have that is the Radiant Orchid trend. Um, as far as totaling up what it would cost to replace everything, I only did two lip products. So my grand total is not an actual reflection of what's in my current makeup vanity. Um, I do have like Urban Decay um, lipstick and lip liner. I've got a couple of Revlon uh, glosses. I've got a couple of Buxom things. So the total that I give you is not everything that I have in the drawer. Um, so, like I said, if you want to kind of figure out where my entire one is, go on and see that video below. The other thing that I thought would be fun, um, let me know if you're interested in doing this for yourself because I know I'd have to map this out and kind of plan. Um, <laughs> before Sephora releases their 20% discount for VIB Rouge, VIBs, and Beauty Insiders this fall, I think it would be entertaining to um, do a tag of what is your entire makeup collection cost. Just to kind of put ourselves in perspective before we go to Sephora, I skipped out on the VIB Rouge sale this time. I'm actually, I'm not even a VIB Rouge member. Um, after having to pitch so much makeup over the years, I don't um, spend that much at Sephora right now. I'm, you know, now that I store my makeup differently, when I'm done with Project Pan, who, you know, who knows where it's gonna go. But um, I'm not a VIB Rouge, um, but I thought it would be entertaining to kind of see where our collections are just to kind of keep us in perspective because that 20% discount really isn't all that much when you think about it. I mean, it really isn't all that much. Um, like I said, I've had to throw out two very extensive makeup collections that each had thousands of dollars tied up into it. 
in the grand scheme of things, saving that 20% is pocket change. So, um, like I said, let's go on and get started. I'm going to go through and basically um, give you what I would have to repurchase, where I would repurchase, and how much it would be. The first one is my Urban Decay Naked Palette. This retails for $52 at Sephora, um, also at Ulta. It seems like a lot of money to pay $52, um, $52 for eyeshadow, but when you really think about it, each single eyeshadow retails for $18 at either one of these locations, so buying 12 shadows in a palette really is not that big of a deal. It's a great value for your money, so $52 is actually very reasonable. Um, considering what you would pay to buy multiple quads at the drugstore, you're spending about the same money as you would to buy this particular high-end palette. So $52 is the first one. The next thing that I would purchase is my Bare Minerals Deluxe Foundation. If I purchased this at Sephora, it is $39. It seems like a lot of money right now, but a huge size of foundation like this lasts me at least eight months. So considering a typical foundation lasts you from a month to three months, this is a really good value for the money, even though it is sticker shock up front. Um, so $39 for this. I also mix in the um, Tarte Amazonian Clay Smooth Operator Loose Powder. There is a pressed powder version. Um, if you buy it at um, Sephora and Ulta, I made notes down here. So if you buy it at Sephora and Ulta, it retails for $32. I split it in half with half of the deluxe foundation and then it takes me even longer to use the two. So $32 for the smooth operator powder for the mattifying finish and then $39 for the foundation. It's really not that bad, even though, even though it's going to seem like a lot right now. So I don't feel bad about it. The one that kind of surprised me, <laughs> maybe it was a good thing I did this because this is going to be my wear it away list this week. Um, but it is the... Derma Doctor DD Cream. This retails for thirty eight dollars. I know. Ouch. Ouch. So, <laughs> stay tuned for my thoughts on this and where to waitlist it because there are a lot of um, a lot of claims to this uh, DD Cream you may be interested in if you're um, itching to go shopping. So thirty eight dollars for this. That's all I'll say about that right now. You can find it at Sephora and at Ulta for thirty eight. All right, the next thing that I don't think was worth it at all, the color's pretty, but it sucks. Um, it is the Marc Jacobs Outspoken Blush. And if you buy this at Sephora, it retails for $30. This packaging is so irritating because it will not close. Like, I, I absolutely can't stand this. It doesn't matter, really, because I sanitize this every day with rubbing alcohol. But the other thing that annoys me about this blush is every time you stick your powder, or I mean, not your powder, every time you stick your brush in it, there's powder all over the place. And that's just as annoying, because if you're paying $30 for a blush, you expect it to be better quality than having fallout everywhere. So, it doesn't close and powder everywhere. Don't waste your money on these. Like, seriously, I'm not going to buy Marc Jacobs blush. I don't even know if I want to buy any of the other compact products of his because this just, this was annoying. Is annoying. I'm still using it, but, I mean, it won't close. So I have to sanitize it every day. All right, moving on. Then the next one um, for my mascara, I have been using two high-end mascaras right now. The first one is the uh, Lancome Seals Booster XL Lash Primer. I love this. It retails for $24. It is worth every penny. If you wear glasses, this is life-changing. Absolutely life-changing. I have purchased this over and over again, and like I said, it is worth the $24. The other side of this mascara duo, I, I could care less about. Um, it is the Lancome Hypnose Drama. If you purchase this at Sephora or Macy's, it retails for $27.50. I don't know if it's worth it. Some days I like it, some days I don't. So, I don't know. There are drugstore mascaras that work, in my opinion, better than that particular mascara. Then the next thing is my MAC Fix Plus. I use this to set my makeup and I use it to condition my face before I apply my makeup. This retails for $21 via MacCosmetics.com or if you buy it through Macy's. So $21 for this. 
And then as far as my two Project Pan shadows from Urban Decay, they came out of Book of Shadows 3 and Book of Shadows 4. But if I had to replace my makeup overnight, I wouldn't purchase either of these of those two palettes again. So I would buy them in single pan form, so that's how I counted them. So if I bought a single eyeshadow pan of money, it would cost me $18. And then to buy a single pan of sin, it would cost $18. But realistically, these came out of the Book of Shadows 3 and Book of Shadows 4. And I believe each of those palettes retail for about $50. They don't retail for that anymore because um, since the Book of Shadows 3 has been um, retired, I guess you could say, people want like 100 bucks for it. And Book of Shadows 4, I believe you can still purchase. But like I said, if I lost my makeup overnight and had to replace it, I wouldn't buy either of those two palettes again. I would buy singles. So that's how I counted those. And then um, the next thing, since I finished my Stila um, outliner pencil, just a second. Okay. Since I finished my Stila eyeliner pencil, um, I have rotated in MAC Black Track Fluid Line. This retails for $16. This is very worth the money, even though it's another one that's, you know, it's a lot of money up front. But considering how long this lasts you, cost per wear, very, very economical to buy a fluid line if you're looking for a nice black liner. This I've had for two years and it's still as creamy as the day I bought it. There's lots of wear on this. So it's worth paying a little bit more up front to get some of these higher end products um, because they will last a little bit longer over time, especially if you're taking care of them and you're sanitizing them. So again, it's not, when you hear my total at the end, it's not as bad as it sounds. So then the next thing, um, I counted each of these as $9 a piece because they're samples. And typically if you buy a deluxe size sample at Sephora and Ulta, they range about $9 to $10. Um, so I would count this as $9 to $10 for a Too Faced um, deluxe sample of the Candlelight Shadow Insurance. I got this in my Too Faced Bonbons palette. And then the other deluxe sample I have is my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. So like I said, again, $9, $10 bucks to purchase samples of these. That's about the value I put on them. I would buy the um, full size of the bronzer. Not so much with this. All right. And then the next thing um, I would repurchase is my uh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind for dark circles and the brightener shade. If I went to Ulta to repurchase it, it retails for $8.99. Love this. I have used it ever since it retailed on the market. I will always, always repurchase this no matter what. And then for the two lip products that I included, I only did two. Like I said, if you watch my um, what's in my seasonal vanity tour, I have quite a few more lip products, but these are the two that I've been focusing on. The first one is my Revlon Kissable Balm Stain in Darling. These lip crayons retail for $8.99 if you go to Ulta or Target. This particular color I have not been able to find anywhere. Um, you can find sellers once in a while on Amazon that sell this, but other than that, this is not a color I've seen um, in any of the stores lately. So I wouldn't be able to necessarily repurchase this if I had to, but I have been using this a lot during the day uh, lately, so I went on and included this. And since this lipstick is just about done, this is a Maybelline Color Vivids in Brazenberry. I have been using it every single day. It's what I'm currently wearing. This would retail for, where is it? $5.59 if I bought this at Target. So this is on its way out the door because I use this all the time. And since it's down to the bottom, I figured let's just finish it off. So there's that. And then the next thing, this is limited edition, but typically um, when I buy my shadow bases, I like the Maybelline color tattoos. Most of the time I buy them at Walgreens. This is the color Icy Mint, and if I had to repurchase it, it would cost me $6.79, give or take. So there's my shadow base. And then my Cheapo Primer, highly recommend because it's awesome. It is the Monistat Chafing Relief Powder Gel. If you buy this at Walmart, Target, um, CVS, and Walgreens, they're a little bit more expensive. 
Um, but Target and Walmart, they retail for about $5.98. Sometimes you find them a little cheaper, and if you have coupons, bonus. So $5.98 for this has the same impact as the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer for, what, a third of the price? Check it out. And then, um, since I finished my Maybelline 2 Cool Color Tattoo, I have mixed in the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk. If I purchase this via Ulta, it retails for $4.49. If I buy it at HEB, it's a little bit cheaper. And generally, they offer coupons with the NYX Cosmetics, so technically, I could probably get this for a little cheaper than $4.49, but there's that. And then the next thing is my Rimmel Nude Cole Eye Pencil. If I repurchase this again via Target, Walgreens, um, it runs about $4.39 to replace this. This is perfect for your waterline. And then the last one, I have to admit, I'm not really a fan of this, but I'm using it. It is the $3 Golden Bronzer by e.l.f. if you buy it at Target. Um, I don't buy e.l.f. cosmetics anywhere else other than Target, so $3 there. So my grand total da -da -da -da, is $381.72. Honestly, I was a little shocked at first, but like I said, when I look at how long a lot of these products last me, and I look at, you know, how many high-end versus how many drugstore products I use, that total doesn't surprise me very much. So, go on and see below. I tagged um, quite a few of you that I speak with frequently via these um, videos, so I would love to see your video if you would um, uh, like to participate in what does your daily face cost tag? And again, I want to put this around again in October, November, right before the VIB sale stuff, the 20% discount at Sephora, because I think it would be fun. And again, if you're trying to project pan, this is perfect because then you realize, holy cow, holy cow, holy cow, look at the money that I've put in this makeup collection. Let's enjoy it. You've already spent the money. Don't freak out about it. Don't beat yourself up over it. Don't, you know, think that you have to give everything away and get it back down to just what you use every day because I tried that route too and then you get bored and then you go binge shopping. Like, enjoy it. Enjoy what you've purchased. Sanitize your makeup so it lasts longer and then you don't have to worry about throwing stuff out right away. You can enjoy this. But like I said... Join me. I'd love to see uh, where your favorites are, where you're project planning, and kind of where your investment is. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will see you next time. Bye.